There was a time at the time of uh, Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Prophet Musa alayhi salam was once standing with the children of Israel and there was about 700,000 of them in front of him and they were in the lost land if you know the story and the clouds weren't raining at all. So they said, O oh Musa, ask Allah to give us rain. So he went, said, Ya Rabb, give us rain. And Allah said to him, there is a man among you, Ya Musa. He has disobeyed me. He has gone against me for 40 years. It is because of him that I am not giving you any rain. So Musa السلام, said, Oh Allah, what should I do? He said, tell him to leave and I will give you rain. Said, Ya Rabb, how am I supposed to tell him when there's 700,000 people in front of me? How will he hear me? And he said, you don't worry. You speak and I'll let him hear you. I will let him hear you. So Musa alayhi salam stood up and said, O oh man who has disobeyed Allah for 40 years and has not repented, because of you we are denied water. So leave, you are harming everyone else. So the man, he assumed that it was him. Nobody had to point to him, he knows. So he looked right and he looked left, looked behind him, looked in front of him. And when he saw that nobody left, all he did was he put his head into his cloak and he cried and said, Oh Allah, I know that I'm that man. I know it. If I don't leave, these people won't drink. But if I leave, I'm going to expose myself. Oh my Lord, I heard that you are merciful and forgiving. I ask you to forgive me, here I am coming to you, a repentant. Suddenly the clouds began to gather and the rain began to fall. Musa alayhi salam goes back says, Ya Rabb, you gave us the rain and the man didn't leave. So Allah said, Ya Musa, because of him I denied you water and now because of him I am giving you water. Wallah. He said, Ya Rabb, let me see who this man is. I want to know who he is. Now he's special. You know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said? He said, Ya Musa, he disobeyed me for 40 years and I never exposed him. Now that he has come back to me, how can I expose him? No. I will keep his sin hidden and it's between me and him. My brothers and sisters in Islam, this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to deal with you, with us. Allah does not want to expose you. Allah does not want to expose your sins. Allah certainly doesn't want us to expose each other's sins. I mean, check this out. You know, in our sharia, ah, in our sharia, ah, it says that, let's say someone's married and they committed adultery. They cheated on their wife or their husband. Or maybe they're not married and they went and committed zina, fornication. And what happens in Sharia is that you're meant to get four witnesses who saw with their eyes the actual act of intercourse before they can be punished. And these four witnesses have to all be known, righteous, and all four of them saw it with their naked eye. What are the chances of having four people seeing that? and are righteous. And if one of them pulls back, one of the four witnesses says, I'm out. All four witnesses are whipped 80 lashes in public, light lashes. Why? Because Islam is a deterrent. It's not out there to expose people and to shun them and to shame them. Islam loves you. Allah wants you to keep your sins between you and Allah. The worst thing a person can do is to expose their sins and parade it. And now we have social media where we are very quick to parade our sins and look at the result. The result is, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've been, I was born here 
Yes, I studied overseas for a bit, but I came back and I've seen a trend developing. Before, people used to be shy of their sins. And now, there's a very big difference. I don't know if some of you of about my age, you can realize this, <clears throat> but those who are younger, I don't think you can see this. You're probably born into this world seeing everybody's just like that. There are so many sins being done now that in our time, when I was 18, 19, they were shameful, that people were ashamed of it. Heck, even in 1950, non-Muslim people had more modesty than today. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, what does Allah want from you? He wants your repentance. He wants you to come back. Listen to what Allah said. Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum wa yuridu alladheena yattabi'oona ash-shahawati an tamilu maylan azeema yuridu Allahu an yukhaffifa ankum wa khuliqa al-insanu dha'ifa Allah says Allah wants to forgive you Allah wants to forgive you Allah wants to forgive you. And those who want you to lose your way, they want you to fall into big problems. Allah wants to lessen the burden off you. He doesn't want you to fall into problems. But man was created ever so weak. They got too many desires that, in other words, Allah is saying, I know that you have desires. I created you that way. But I'm ready to forgive you if you just come back to me. I'm right here. I will never leave you alone. My brothers and sisters, listen to this beautiful verse in the Quran. Allah said, Inna Allah yuhibbu al-tawwabin wa yuhibbu al-mutatahirin Which means, Allah indeed loves those who always come back to Him. And He loves those who always purify themselves. Do you know what it means that Allah loves those who always come back to Him? You know what it means? It means two things. Number one, it means that Allah is speaking to the ones who are always sinning. Like who is the one that returns back to Allah? They're the people who have turned away from Allah. So who is Allah addressing? He addressing those who turn away from Him. He says, I love, Allah loves those who always come back. Now the second meaning is that, so the first one is that they're always sinning. And number two, they're always going and coming back. It's frequent. And what does this verse tell us? It tells us that the shaitan, Iblis, the shaitan, he always comes to our minds and says to you, you've got no hope. Man, you've been sinning all this life. Look what you've done. You know this is haram, you're a hypocrite. You just made repentance the other day, now you're back at it. You made repentance the other day, you came back at it. What are you trying to trick a lot? You hypocrite. And you start talking this bad, this negative talk to yourself. Do you know who, the, per, the one who makes you think like that is the shaitan and your own self whispers. But Allah constantly tells you, read the Quran because I've got a message for you. I don't want you to fall into that. I'm telling you that I want you and I don't care if you sin all the time. I just want you to come back all the time. And then you go away and you come back. You go away and then come back. I want you to come back all the time. And I will keep accepting and forgiving you until the moment that you die. Until the moment your soul reaches the gargling point. I will continue to forgive you. 